On this episode of The Sequence, let's talk chords and melody tips and tricks. The Sequence. So I'm gonna start with some of the basic stuff. So I got a drum kit right here. And yeah, there's an 808. I could play that in different tunes here if I wanted that concept there. So what I would do is I would hit 16 levels right here and it will bring up this little option right here. And you know, originally or normally it will be in velocity. So, but if I go to tune, I can play different tunes, you know? So let's go ahead and play with that. Man, I'm gonna get out of 16 levels here. Mm-hmm. And then just add my hi-hats. You know, and that will be pretty ideal for a couple of things if you wanna mess with just having your drum programs and stuff like that. But the only issue with that is I don't know what actual notes are in the 16 level that would, you know, be what? Like, what would be C? I could try to find C in here. I gotta go back to the that pad too as well, but. So, that sounds close to like C. Yeah, so that would be C. You know. And yeah, that will work, but it's kind of crazy. So this is where I introduce you to something else here from the basics. So obviously when you wanna lay out your 808, you wanna lay it out using either a key group or bass line because you will have access to a feature right down here called pad performance. So if I press pad performance, and this is uh, version 2.8 by the way. So if you ain't up to date with your MPC one and you see me do that, well, yeah, you need to update it. but. You can also access it the original way by holding shift and hitting 16 levels again, and it'll bring up note mode, okay? So I'm gonna go into chromatic. I'm gonna set it to a C, and now I have a C major, and if I wanna just get all the stuff in C major, I can go into C major. Of course, I would have to do one thing, right? I would have to go into my browser and load up a key group, so I'm gonna go into my expansions and pull up an 808 real quick, so I'll just use uh, the F9 expansion because it's the one I always use for uh, 808s anyway, so uh, go in here, make sure I grab it, grab it. There we go, and it's loading in there. Boom. But now, going back into pad performance here, I have that, and I gotta pick it, of course. So, bellfish, but anyways. And so now I can lay out a, a solid melody uh, of some sorts with my 808s. You know, and that's the purpose of pad performance. Now there is another thing that I want to show you about pad performance. Obviously one thing I cannot do is play chords, but now I can just go into, I'm going to go right over here and grab electric. So let's uh, grab electric together here. And then we're going to grab a, I'm going to grab uh, one of these. Now I can play like melodies and stuff like that because now it's polyphonic. That 808, obviously 808s you want to be monophonic, which is one voice. Uh, but now I have a choice of chords. I can do chromatic chords. They won't, like chromatic chords, the difference between chromatic and chords so chromatic chords and chords, the difference between those two is that chromatic chords has all kinds of chord progressions. <laughs> uh, but chords has just a specific chords for that scale. So you have your scale right here, which is a major scale. That's how you pick it out. And if you click on your data wheel, you have major, natural minor, harmonic minor, pentatonic, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, blues, and so forth. Like you could just go down there. 
and that's just like your basic stuff here. So, you know, I'm just gonna stick with C major for now. But the other thing I would like to show you is that you have different chord numbers. So chord numbers will allow you to do things like one, three, five, which is if I was to talk about a C major, that is C E G. So if I was to back out of this real quick, I'm just gonna stick the one, three, five. And if I was to go on the chorus and play that C E G. Let's hear that. Go into note mode. And that's the concept. And also another shortcut as far as uh, basic stuff, if you want to build like chord progressions without just one note chords, uh, you can use these shapes right here, like a little triangle shape. And if you was to do that, like a straight line, of course you wouldn't get that, but. Like you can use those different shapes right here. So kind of like a Tetris shape, skipping over. And inverse. So hopefully you'll understand those basic concepts right there and I wasn't going too fast. Uh, but there is another layer to that and that's progressions. So you actually have more progressions that you can check out. Highly recommend this video at the top right of the screen or in the description box uh, that will show you how to import more progressions. Uh, Musician Paradise has a great amount of free ones. Now, what you saw me do is I went to this option right here, which tells you the chord. Now I have other ones, but I'm gonna go into something like you can pick from jazz chords. Uh, you can pick, you can pick jazz chords. You can, you know, these are the default stuff that you can hit like piano. So don't sleep on these at all. And my favorite, which is house, which has all of the basic concepts of of modern day UK house and stuff like that, or even old school UK. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pick out a different sound. That's... There we go. All right, so what I wanna do here is lay down a basic drum line real quick so I have something to work with for this next part. Now that we have that, I'm gonna go back into track number one. On track number one, I'm gonna lay out a quick chord progression using the house one progression, which is default inside of your MPC. Anybody could do that, right? Anybody can do that, but what you'll probably want to do is take it to the next level and you can uh, in version 2.8 in terms of the MPC firmware. So make sure that your OS is up to date, otherwise you won't be able to do this. So you can activate art mode while using pad performance. So that's gonna open up the door for you and listen to this. So you might want to mix that up to add some type of dynamic to your track and you can enable and unable while you're recording. So let's go. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you're starting to get somewhere because with that, I have some other concepts that I can lay in between that. And when you go into your arpeggios, this is where you will start to really see what's going on. Uh, you can actually change it from up, down, up, and so forth, uh, thumb up, thumb down, and pinky up, pinky down. And let's hear that.
Uh, so what I want to do here is show you another trick that I like about using chords and using the arpeggios. So the biggest thing I like is this right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch between different arpeggio speeds or time signatures. So either from one, 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 four, one, eighth, one sixteenth, and so forth. So let's start from scratch one more time. And I'm going to show you something really cool. So record play start. Now, of course, it wasn't all that great, but I'm just showing you basic concepts here. Uh, you can also change the octave too, of course. But what I'm gonna do here is something really simple. I'm gonna keep it on octave here. I'm gonna change the variation. We're gonna lay out the chords first. And next I'm gonna go into pad performance here. I'm gonna drop the octave. Okay, let's record that in. All right, now that we have that, uh, <laughs> you bet your sweet butt. What I'm gonna do is go right back into note repeat, uh, activate arpeggios, and then I'm gonna go and do one sixteenths, and then we're gonna go right back up into the pat performance and we're gonna do a higher octave of that melody. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, impigios, overdub, play start, let's go. I could deal with that, but yeah. But now you can start to see where I'm coming from as far as like, like building your chords and your melodies together. You don't have to necessarily do that on one track. And matter of fact, I can go to like track number three, uh, pull up a plugin here. I'm gonna new, use a new plugin, I'm gonna use Tube Synth. Actually, I'm gonna use a key group. I'm gonna go in my key groups here, go into browse, and I'm gonna get a bell of some sort. Maybe not a bell, I don't know. I Yeah, I'm just gonna do bell. Do a bell sound. Uh, so we can hear the tone of it. All right, go back in here and then select it. Now you can hear kind of like an underline of what I'm gonna do here. Go into note repeat, hit ARP, and we're gonna mix things up. I'm gonna enable, unenable, and go from different time signatures, and we're gonna get a mixture of stuff. And now you see how useful that is using both pad performance and arpeggios. That's why everybody went nuts in the announcement of that update of 2.8. So tell me how you feel about this video. Man, oh man, I feel bad for anybody that misses this particular video because this concept in terms of phrasing and so forth and playing with arpeggios, it has a lot of use outside of just making beats in the MPC Live X01. And I've already showed it in the MPCB software, but definitely uh, this can be applied to creating your own samples. And what other <laughs> machine can actually do it like the MPC series now? You'll be surprised. So stay tuned for that video because it's coming very soon.